Are you still doing VLOOKUP in Excel to combine all your data before you begin to analyze it in pivot tables or in Power BI? I am sorry my friend, you are doing things the wrong way. This is a huge mistake. I was doing this for so many years and this whole process is very error prone and slow. Because VLOOKUP itself is a slow and error prone. If you work on a large file like 200,000 rows and above, VLOOKUP can be quite slow. And if you have even larger like 500,000 rows, 800,000 rows, I have had so many times a huge file that takes long to open and often crashes. I am sure you are pretty familiar with VLOOKUP in Excel. It is used to look up a name, category or price from a category master, product master or a pricing master and then display the actual price or value in your main data table. If you are not familiar with VLOOKUP or you are not comfortable with it, you could always check my other VLOOKUP videos where I go deep into how to use VLOOKUP and we go and also discuss the approximate match and the exact match options which often confuse people. You can see the link to the video above. But why am I telling you this is because recently I found a newer, better, faster method that is so much easy to write. There is no formula to write at all. All you need to do is to simply use your mouse. The file size is small. The process is not error prone at all. In fact, I am able to process my data way much faster, smoother and I don't have to do it again and again because the whole process is automated. Today I am excited to show you this method where we can do a VLOOKUP by using this hidden tool called Power Query. Now if you are not familiar with it, you can watch my other videos on Power Query but simply Power Query is already built into Excel if you are using Excel 2010, 2013, 2016, 2019 or the latest and greatest Office 365. And it's also a part of Microsoft Power BI. So if you have the software and today I will show you using Microsoft Power BI how to use Power Query which is built in to bring the data from Excel and perform the VLOOKUP in the Power Query itself. So our file size stays small and I don't have to write a single VLOOKUP formula. With this amazing feature of Power Query in Power BI and in Excel, you will be able to create a much faster, safer and optimized data model. For those who are technically oriented, we will be learning how to create a star schema from a snowflake schema. But if you're not familiar with these terms, don't worry, this is just data warehousing or business intelligence speak. But I will suggest that in the long run, you will be able to understand these terms. Hello friends, my name is Vinay Prakash. I run my YouTube channel at ExcelChamp and run a blog at excelchamp.net. So do remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. If you are especially interested in Power Query, then I am creating a series of videos for you to learn this and master this amazing technique. You will fall in love with this. So today I have created a sample file for you which contains the data. Let me introduce you to this data so you can have a quick look. Here I have in this uh, example file, we have sales data where you can see we have the product ID, the quantity sold and the date of the sale. So what product is this P102, P111? Well, we can find it from the product master and in the product master you can see P102 is chairs and we have 57 stock in uh, available in our uh, warehouse. The, it belongs to category number C52. Uh, if you are wondering what is C52, what is C53? Well, we have a master table for the categories here, category master and here you can see all the different types of categories which uh, we sell. So we sell uh, books, furniture, stationery, calendars, bags, accessories, phones, etc. That these 10 different categories is what we sell. So we have categories, we have products 
and for any product you can easily find the category by looking up the category IT and then here we have the sales data so now I am going to bring this data and without writing a single formula we will be able to analyze this let's get started so to begin I am going to start power BI because I want to today demonstrate this power query within power BI but if you want to see how to use the same power query within Excel with the same technique do write it in the comment and if there are enough people who are interested in this I will record another video of how to use power query within Excel to do exactly the same thing so here I have my uh, power query a brand new file open we will import our data from Excel workbook you can directly click on this Excel workbook I'll pick my Excel champ snowflake sales sample Power BI will now connect to this Excel file and it will pick up there are three sheets category master which we can see here the product master which we can also see here and the sales data all of this we will need to bring into power query so I'll simply click load and this will invoke power query it will load the data but I am seeing it in power bi now let us see how the data looks after it is loaded and if it is not in a good shape then we can of course go back in power query I'll show you how to invoke power query from within power bi so now the data is loaded we can see our three tables but you may be thinking hey when I click on the table name I don't see anything well in power bi you need to go to this data view to see the data so when we look at the category we, are, we can see the category and the name but unfortunately somehow the heading was not picked up and so it is called column 1 and column 2 uh, let us fix it the second table we have a look at it the product master this one seems to have picked up the category and the headers here so we have the category product and the stock price and as well as the product name when we go to the sales data this has also picked up our uh, data and we can see the headings are there we have the product the quantity as well as the date uh, if you look at the data model that's already created we can go to the model view and here you can see that we have our product master we have our sales data and somehow a power bi has already picked up the relationship if I just mouse over we can see that the product ID in the product master is already linked to the product ID in the sales table this is perfect and I don't need to make any change but the problem is the category master is still showing column 1 and column 2 so let's fix this first we'll go back into data so that you can see the category master data and anywhere we can right click on this uh, table name and then go to edit query so I simply do that now we can see our category in fact the other queries are still available here and we can see the category and the name uh, very easily using one click use the first row as headers by clicking on it the headings are already in place I don't have to make any other change so I'll simply click close and apply now you can see our category master has picked up the category and the heading correctly if I go back to the data model now wow fantastic it has picked up the category ID in the product master actually matches the category in the category master table so even if the column name is not exactly the same power bi power query still picks it up and can identify the relationship if the data quality is good so this is fantastic everything is done for us let us see what happens when we go to reporting so i'll go back to report view and now we could easily create a chart simply by picking the uh, different products so I could pick the product name 
from the product table and then I could look at the quantity sold. That's it. We have already received the data and it's looking pretty awesome. If I wanted to slice it, I could simply add a slicer and maybe add the category name from the category master. And now we can easily slice this data to look at any particular category that we are interested in. So if I click books, we are only looking at the books. If we click computers, we are only looking at computer sales. To fix the font size here, we can quickly go to the format visual, search for size and we can easily change the text size as well as the values size by increasing. Of course, we don't want to change for this, we want to change for the chart. So we can go and search for size within here and we can now change the size of the values. So we open the size of the data labels. Let's add data labels here quickly and change the size. So we can see the size, we can change the y axis heading values as well. So this is some basic formatting now that we have done it, it's looking nice. And now as and when we change the product, the headings and the values are looking way much better. So this is good, but actually this model is not very good. Why is that? That's because every time we ask a product and the category, it has to go to sales table, pick the product ID, link it with the product master, take the product ID uh, and then from there take the category ID, match it in the category master to pick the category name. Actually this is two steps. And by taking two steps, this is called a snowflake schema where you are taking multiple steps. What we want is a single step and that's when we move to a star schema. So what we are going to do is to perform a VLOOKUP from the product master into the category master, pick the category name and directly bring it into the product master. This is what I wanted to show you. So to do this, we can go to product master right click and edit the query directly from the data model. When we do that, we are now going to see our uh, product master table and as you can see, we only want the category name, not the category ID. So the button here is under the combined section, we have a merge queries. When we click merge queries, we are going to merge two queries. So the first table is already selected. I'll quickly choose the category master here and then important, uh, keep watching here guys, this is uh, completely white at the moment, blank. But when I choose the category ID from the first table and pick the category ID from the second table, do you see this tick? The selection matches all the 30 categories in the first table. This is what we are looking for, an exact match. Everything all the categories have been looked up. So we simply click OK. And now the entire category master table has been brought into the product master. But unfortunately, we don't want the whole table. What we want is just the category name. So do you see this flower icon ready to bloom? Well, we click on it and uh, we don't want everything. So we can uncheck all these columns. What we want is only the category name. So I'll just select the category name, click OK. And now we have received the category name here. Fantastic. What we have done is performed a VLOOKUP from the product master into the category, looked up the ID and picked up the name. That's what we do in Excel using VLOOKUP. But this time we didn't write a single formula. We simply use the mouse. Now that this is done, I can simply say close and apply. And now you can see our product name and the category name both are here. In fact, uh, now that we have all of these in place, we want to simplify our data model. So as I told you earlier, I want to give you some tips on how to simplify and optimize your data model. So. Now there is no need for the category ID. 
So as you can see the eye icon, we can simply click on it and sleep. Let it sleep. That means it goes to a hide mode. We don't need the category ID. We don't need the product ID. Let the system take care of the lookups. In fact, here also the product ID in the sales table, we don't need it. So what we need is just the date, the quantity, the category name, product name and the stock available. And uh, do you now really need the category master? Really not. We could simply make this table disappear as well. So I could let it go back to sleep. It's hidden and the whole table is now hidden. Instead of having three tables, once I finish this, you won't be able to see this table in the reporting view. Now you see we have only the product master and the sales uh, data and we have picked up the category name, the product name. So our model is simpler. We only have two tables. The VLOOKUP has already been done and now our lookup is going to be way much faster. We can still produce the things exactly the same way but it will be way much faster. So I don't want the category name from here. Rather I want the category name from the product master and of course there's no change but now our data will be in a better shape because it's been optimized and we are only picking what is relevant. So we could create other things like we could have um, maybe show this as a pie chart and then display the quantity sold by category or by uh, product name and then you can get a split. We could also analyze this data by uh, months or by years. So I could create another column chart in here and we can now pick the quantity for a particular quarter. So now we are going to see the quarterly uh, analysis of sales for computers and if you want to go into individual products, we can also do that. So when I click quarter one, we are only looking at what was sold in quarter one or quarter two or quarter three. So you can see the slices. We also get to see exactly what sold more or less. But all this became so much easier and simpler because we were able to merge queries, which is an equivalent of doing a VLOOKUP in Excel. But this time we didn't write a single formula. The formula was not written at all. All we did was to simply use the mouse and we were able to merge and simplify our data model. So now we have achieved like a star schema. There are only two tables uh, that are displayed and we have hidden all the ID columns we could, which could confuse our audience. So I hope you learned something new. Do watch this video again step by step and try it with the sample file which I have given you in the description below. And do remember to like and subscribe to our channel and do keep coming back to watch more videos on Power Query, Power BI and Excel. I want you to be awesome in Excel. Thanks for watching. All the best.